Hi everybody, my name is Dave Marsh. I'd like to welcome you to this Matrix Search tutorial. And today we're going to take a look at how to generate search results within Matrix. Now before I begin, I'd first like to mention that because each MLS may have slightly different requirements, the system that we'll be using during this tutorial may differ slightly from the one that you're currently working with. Nevertheless, the functionality is the same and for the most part, whatever you see during this tutorial, you'll easily recognize in your own system. Now there are a few different ways to create a search in Matrix. The first is by using the Matrix speed bar. And the speed bar essentially allows you to quickly find property and roster results simply by using a series of speed bar shortcuts. The second method of generating results is from the recent search dropdown list. And as the name implies, this is a collection of your most recent searches, including the criteria, the search type, when you last ran the search, and finally, the number of results. All right, so the third and typically most popular search is the search criteria form. And from here, we're able to enter specific criteria for the property type that we're looking for. To do this, we'll start by customizing exactly which fields that we'd like to include as this property type's default. Then add the criteria to search for our properties. And you'll notice that with each new entry, our map and results section are both updated in real time. And these are also reflected in the total number of matches. All right, so to isolate a specific location, we can either choose from any of the geographic criteria fields or select it using any of the shape tools on the map. For this example, we're going to use the radius. So we'll begin by removing the selected location then hide the criteria to maximize the space for our results. Next, we'll draw our shape by dragging over only the area that we'd like to include in our search. And again, you'll notice as we update our map, our results section is updated as well. Now to preview these properties, we can either select from any of the map markers or choose from the properties below. Now to view photos of the property, select any of the individual images or open the gallery to choose from the photo mosaic. All right, so let's go ahead and select a handful of properties to work with. And we can do this from either directly on the map, the single line display, or from the gallery view. All right, so with each of our properties selected, we're now in a position to access any of the actions available on this page. All right, well, this concludes this matrix search page overview. I'd like to thank you for watching and hope that you can join me for another session. Take care.